We'll begin by launching a browser and then visiting the globus.org website. Now there's various ways to log in. I'm going to go ahead and log in with my Google account, which is the account behind all of ISU's emails. Okay, now from the Globus homepage, I'm going to click that I want to enable Globus on my system. And to do that, I need to use Globus Connect Personal. And since I'm on a Windows machine, then I need to use the Windows version. We'll start by downloading Globus Connect Personal. and installing it to its default location. Now, because I was already logged in, when I clicked the log in button, it simply is essentially a single sign-on process, connect my Globus Connect personal to the um, account that I'm already logged into Globus with. Now this is uh, fairly important. I want to provide a label for my future reference for any of the uh, downloads that are going to occur using this particular machine. And this particular machine you can see is named Wolverine. It is a teaching uh, computer, instructional computer here at the GIS Center. So I'm going to type in, uh, I'll leave the word Wolverine in there. And it's my, or our teaching uh, computer. I'm going to click allow. And now I'm going to provide a collection name. I'm going to come over here to the taskbar, and this is the icon that indicates Globus Connect Personal is running. I'm going to go ahead and right click here, and I'm going to look at my options. This is a pretty important step. So by default, uh, Globus is going to write to my documents folder. And that's okay, but you know, a lot of folks are not accustomed to downloading something and having it go to their documents. The place that most folks use for downloads is the downloads folder. So I'm going to go ahead and add the downloads folder and I've set it that it is writable. I'm going to remove the documents folder. Now all of my downloads performed through the Globus service are going to happen and be stored or found in the downloads folder. I'll go ahead and save this and I can access my downloads folder by using Windows Explorer, File Explorer, going to the downloads folder and the only thing in it right now is my Globus Connect personal setup. Uh, I can leave that there or I can delete it. But as I download 
LiDAR data or any other data using Globus, this is the default location where I'll find it. 